Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Next is quadrant two. I'm going to look at his head. His head can include the arm. So it could be, we're not doing katakatami arm triangle today, but it could be katakatami and many, many different setups to Sankaku Jimmy to Jujigatami, triangle choke to arm bar. There's many different setups actually for uh, triangle positions, arm bar top positions. Anyway, after looking at quadrant one, if he doesn't give an easy submission up to the arm, I, look, he's having a hard time and I'm balanced 50-50 and my weight's on my foot. Mm -hmm. Guys, if I was really here, his face turns really fast. And then he starts to open stuff up. So that's what knee and belly does. It opens a guy up. Besides, he often turns and I get his back or I get mount. I can slide in a mount or he rolls away and I can get rear mount. Everyone knows that. But, mount, but knee on belly, knee on chest position also goes into top crucifix, back crucifix, um, and back knee rides and other knee rides as well. So it's not only mount and rear mount, it's knee rides uh, and, and crucifix and back crucifix as well. So number one, guys, if I do a chest ride, even if I'm being nice on his stomach, relax, and I go to his chest, I often just pull his face. It's not really a neck crank, it's really a chest compression. If he's really big and tough and this isn't enough, I just turn his face a little sideways. No, however I grab my hand, I can, I just turn his face a little sideways and pull, if this is enough. But a lot of times I like to just kind of put my chest high, my knee high, and I put his nose to my, my knee. Easy. Easy, man. Next, if he's so tough, that neck crank, it's not really a neck crank, that's really ch chest compression. It's a choke. It should be allowed. Next, Soko Kakatogia, elbow him in the face sideways. If it's MMA, and I turn his head sideways. Even slowly, I just turn his face sideways by going here. Then I grab my head, and then I break his neck this way. It's here, here. Okay? I could, I could do it the other way with my hands. So that one's this, elbow, hiji, sideways, turn, grab your hands in like an S grip or palm grip, whatever, turn one elbow up and one elbow down. I can do the same thing the other way. If I ride his chest, I just threw him, osoto guard. Bang! He lands a little bit this way, I can go here, and I can go here, and just break his leg this way. Biomechanics, it doesn't matter, he's a big strong fighter. If I have weight, and I control his head, it doesn't matter. Sorry. <laughs> I, ha I have control, I'm not going to actually break someone's neck. Even Jean Labelle, at 85 years old, at 83 years old, he was still doing all this stuff with precision. If you know what you're doing, it's not so dangerous. In a grappling match with someone, you go slowly, carefully, kyosuke. But those are all different kinds of neck cranks and chest compressions that you can do. Uh, next, guys, like this neck crank I did, I suck at this because my arms are too big. These guns, these 19 inch, almost 19 inch guns are too big. But if you have small arms, like maybe, if you have thin forearms, paper cutter choke works good, no gi. Um, paper cutter choke is like this, you're on a knee ride, and just like I do this one for the neck crank, it's the same thing, but I put my hands together, and I drop my forearm, next one, I drop my forearm here, and then I drop my weight into side mount. I'm no good at it, it looks really bad when I do it, simply because my forearms are too big, but it's a paper cutter choke, you bring your hiji elbow together, and you drop on him here, so let's pretend I wasn't on belly. I'm going to get some slack in my arms. I got my hands together, and then I drop my elbow in, and next, next, and down. Here. So that's a paper cutter choke. Like I said, you really should set it up from neon belly. Come down and then slide to side mount and finish it. Drop your elbow down towards the other elbow. So it's this. Uh, I, it's just not something I can get in on big guys my size. My arms are too big. If you have thinner arms, it's a great choke. So the, like a small girl, like she could kill me. A small girl could kill me with this choke if she gets good at it. And if it's in, there's no way even as strong as I am that I'm defending because it bites into the neck and the arteries and the throat so tight. So there's a lot of uh, submissions that you can go with the head or the head and the arm combined. Uh, next are all these entries into triangle choke position and arm bars. To understand that, we have to look at reverse knee ride. I should have included it in the other video. This is a low reverse knee ride. 
I use this position in transitions from scrambles sometimes. Maybe I have his leg, I break his knee sideways here, I go to a knee bar. This is low reverse knee ride. Go here. Yeah. This is mid reverse knee ride. And that I'm mid on his chest and I'm above this arm. This is high reverse knee ride. Is that I'm above this arm, or if he's just defending like jujitsu like this, I can put my knee into that arm, I'm above that arm. So this is a high reverse knee ride. So low reverse knee ride, coming to the legs, going into mount, attacking the legs in a scramble. This is mid reverse knee ride. Okay, I'm above that arm. And this is high reverse knee ride. Which obviously I can put some pressure on his neck and throat as well. So from Below the arm in mid reverse knee ride. So I'm here and he's defending too good, he's too tight, and whatever. I can't get anything. Sometimes I'll go in here. Boom. Now I start playing with the guy. And then, okay? And now I suck him up and I go to my triangle choke position if I want. I'm not long legged, I'm bad at triangles, but there's my triangle choke position, there's my arm bar position, there's my step over arm bar position. That's from mid reverse knee ride. Mid meaning I'm trapping the near side arm into my back capoeira spin. My back spin into a triangle, Sun Kaku Jimmy. Starting here, Coco. So, again, I'm not great at this. It doesn't look that pretty, guys, because I have short, stumpy legs. I'm 40 years old, turning 40 this month. So, I'm here and I plant or plant and I back pivot and collect and I sit down. Boom, and I'm inside. I like this for MMA purposes. I don't need a triangle. I'm fine where I am. And then I can take this, take this. I don't really like to go to a triangle there, but if you have longer thin legs, you're gonna love that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Next, same, but sometimes you get above the arm with your knee. So instead of here, so this arm's included, I get the knee in here. So like I'm here, or maybe I was here in a double knee ride. Now I can shift this knee here. And now I hit my back pivot. And I come up. Now look what I'm going to do here. I'm going to come off. I insert here. And I go to my arm in or armless triangle choke. Sorry. <laughs> armless triangle, but really your arm. Not his arm. His arms are out. It's my arm doing this armless triangle choke. I have other, another video on that. Spinning armless triangle choke. Or sometimes, sometimes you'll get this arm. So even if you don't, you can go to what I just showed, which most people don't know. If I go here, I'm riding in here, and I come here. A lot of times this will land here, and then you do triangle on the other side. Okay, so no matter what, below the arm, this arm, it's triangle this side. No arms, they both end under, you can do armless or your arm triangle, and or you can shoot to this arm across, and then you got to go to the other side, which I'm not great at. Uh, and there's a fourth option. So if you're a triangle guy, I'm not a triangle guy, I'm just not built that way. Uh, but if you're a triangle guy, you should know all these back pivots. And if you can learn how to knee ride in the chest, go to double knee ride, reverse knee ride, that backspin capoeira is really tricky to a lot of people. And you can get, if you get good at, no matter what arm ends up in there, you get good at the submission. Uh, there's another one. Is if I'm riding knee on chest very heavy, I'm here and he pushes. Right there, the arm opens, right? See? Or I could lock up a triangle if I wanted to and choke him and all that. But really, I just take that armbar. Anyway, you okay? I'll take the armbar. So I'll just go to the juji. This is really good technique. I slide my leg in. This comes from Cyborg or Baru, I think his name is. You, you slide his. It's very tricky. You slide your leg in on the neck. So as I come here, I'll go light this time. He goes to push. I collect and I kick the leg here and I go at an angle. I collect this up, boom, and I'm sliding in. 
and then I bump this knee here to my Z formation. If I got here, this is great for a Sogo Kakatogi. Choke, choke, armbar, armbar, sorry, armbar. It's okay, he's got 10 for that. He's okay, he's got you all, he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> so guys, they, that, they think that's a lot. There's so many submissions. So we look at quadrant one, forearm, quadrant two, head or head and arm, up here. And all of these different stuff you can do. So look for three of the legs and four of the near arm. Look at all it and have a total attack system from knee rides, but mix in the reverse knee rides, the double knee rides, etc. and so forth. Thank you very much. Please subscribe and thumbs up. I appreciate it. Catch you next.